Yeah, so this is Larkin, named after Barry Larkin. <laughs> and uh, Larkin ended up having a problem with her feet um, where she uh, was having trouble walking. Um, she has a tendon that slips out of place and uh, she's very vocal right now. But um, at, for one, at one time, we didn't know what, uh, if Mark Larkin's a boy or girl. Turns out Larkin is a girl. We got DNA testing done. And uh, <laughs> Larkin um, is quite excited right now. Um, but it turns out Larkin's having trouble where a tendon slips in her leg. And um, when she, when she uh, is in the water, um, her feet are okay because she's not standing on her feet, um, which is an interesting thing about penguins. Penguins spend about 60% of their life in the ocean, and so they shouldn't be standing around too much. But it turns out um, when Larkin's in the water, it, it's great, no problems with her feet. But when she comes out and stands, sometimes if she puts her foot in the wrong position, one of her tendons slips out of place. Um, fortunately, once she's in the water, it can reset. Um, the challenge is she has to get back in the water to reset it. So what we do, um, we have some boots for her that we put on. The boot keeps her leg straight and prevents the tendon from slipping. So one of the tendons kind of slips loose and pops towards the front. And then that, when that happens, Larkin can't um, put a lot of weight on her foot. So what the boot does is it keeps that tendon from slipping and then um, that allows her to continue to walk. And we're working on upgrading those boots. So we have a 3D printer here at the zoo. One of the cool things we're working on to produ produce some boots that are uh, form fitted to her feet to kind of manufacture something that potentially can work in the water and on land. So um, Larkin was hand raised here um, due to the fact that um, Larkin was having trouble being fed by her parents. And so um, we had to, so she knows me. I, as you can see, she's quite comfortable with people and me. Um, it has quite a big personality. What we've noticed is that um, throughout these uh, days out, she's learned that when her leg collapses, she can get back in the water and then straighten it back out and reset that tendon. And then she can come back out of the water and then straighten her leg. So we've been just kind of managing this. We're not sure if this is gonna be a permanent thing for the rest of her life. We're planning for that in case that is a long-term uh, condition. Um, obviously we're hopeful that it's something that can be managed that maybe even get corrected um, to where eventually she can walk normally all the time. And Larkin here is uh, quite a special penguin here too, so. <laughs>